you guys, it's Donna with Resale Tips and Tales, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a clean, white, crisp background on your pictures with one clip. So, as many of you guys know, there is a new app out there which I am in love with called Photo Room. So on this video, I wanted to show you guys how to take your pictures, and they can actually be a really weird background, you can use a white background, any really background, and this app is amazing. It takes your picture that you are trying to take, and it makes the whole background white, or blue, or black, or whatever you want it to be. Also, I wanted to compare it to the brand new eBay photo editing as well. So they have a new backdrop editor um, it built into their listing, um, and I wanted to compare it with you guys, see what you thought, I want your opinions and your experience, but I wanted to show you what I thought about it as well. So hang tight, I'm gonna share my screen with you so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so the first app I wanted to show you guys is the Photo Room app. So this is not a paid advertisement. This is just an app that I really have fallen in love with lately. Um, I use this to make my first picture and sometimes I edit my other pictures because I just think it is that great. So this is what the app looks like on an Apple iPhone. Um, you can also get this on the Android devices is what I'm being told. So we're gonna go ahead and open the app. All right, so it's very simple. You see a little plus sign at the top. So we're gonna click the plus sign and then we're going to select our pictures. Just ignore all these other ones. So let's do these shoes right here. All you have to do is hit it and bam. Look at this really cool picture. It looks so professional. It takes all the stuff in the background out. Now you do get a watermark at the bottom that says photo room, um, but you can either crop it or leave it or whatever you wanna do. You can also do a paid subscription that will get rid of that. Um, let's try a different picture. So we're gonna delete that one and let's do these shoes. You can tell I like shoes. <laughs> Again, great results. So if you have to do any erasing, it does give you that option. You just click the little thing here and then you do the cutout and you have a manual option. You can go in and erase things, add things. Um, but I haven't had <laughs> to use that too much. To save it, you just hit the arrow at the top and then you can select where you wanna save it. I'm gonna save it to my photos. So we're gonna do that. Let's go back and try just one more so you can see what a shirt looks like. I know I've got a shirt in here somewhere. There we go. So look at that, it's amazing. So you also have options to do different backdrops if you want. Now, in order to get found on Google, they do prefer the white backdrop. So this is what I always rec recommend, especially for eBay. But if you wanna get fancier, you wanna use it for something else, you can hit this replace button at the bottom and it gives you all these different options. And there's freed ones, there's also paid ones. So we'll just go into a random one here. <laughs> you can see all these different ones that are um, free. Um, you can select different backdrops. If my shirt wants to be at the beach, it can be. <laughs> it can be in the city. Um, they also have some more serious ones. Like I think um, these wood ones are really neat. So I've seen these, um, especially if you want to get fancy on Pinterest or something. Um, but anyway, I stick to the white ones right now because I feel like these might get a little too busy. But overall, I just am super impressed with this app and it's so simple to use. Um, and then I just think it looks great for your um, for your listings. All right, let's go take a look and see what eBay's new backdrop removal program does and compare it to Photo Room. So I already started a listing here. Um, if you're familiar with the app's listing, this is what you come to when you start. Hit the plus sign again. We're gonna go ahead and load one of those same pictures. Um, let's try the shirt. Let's see what comes up. All right, so you wait a minute for it to load. All right, we're gonna click on it. All right, at the bottom, automatically pops up, remove background because it's a new thing. So we're gonna hit that little icon at the bottom. Now this gives you the option that you can crop your picture if you want to, but I'm gonna leave it the way it is. At the top right corner, you see it says continue. We're gonna click that. And then this is what it gives me. So as you see, <laughs> this is not as clean and clip clean and crisp as the photo room app. Now, it does tell you that you can go in here and you can paint things back on, you can erase things manually, um, but to me this takes more time than what the photo room app is already giving me. If you accidentally erase something, you can go back in, you can paint it back on, um, but this just takes too much time. <laughs> so let's go back, let's try a different picture and see how we do, so we're not gonna apply that. Let's pull up a different thing. Let's try the other two pictures that we already did. All right, let's do this one. So again, wait till it loads, touch it, open it up. It's gonna pop up your little remove background. Click it again, frame it, continue. 
that one did much better. So maybe it's a hit and miss type thing. I've had more misses, to be honest with you. I think eBay has some more refining to do. Um, so we'll see how they tweak this app. Let's do just one more, just for an example, so we can compare. Um, let's do the other pair of shoes and see what it does with it. Here we go. All right, loading. Click it. I think this takes a little bit too much time too, a little extra time than what the photo room app does. All right, so this did okay, but you can still see the shadows there that we're gonna have to go in and try to remove, um, or you could keep them. So it really is just your preference. This might be quicker if it does this, um, but it's not, it's kind of hit and miss. Um, so to me, it, it's worth it to go through the photo room app um, and take a little extra time and get that perfect picture that looks clean and crisp. Um, and maybe eBay eventually will catch up to the same programming. I'm not quite sure. So there you go, there's the examples. Okay, so hopefully you guys like that demonstration. Um, I'm still a fan of Photo Room. I don't know, I think eBay still has a little bit of programming to do, some tweaks in their, <laughs> in their app um, to get it perfect like Photo Room. I just feel like Photo Room gets it right the first time. There might be a little bit of tweaking or you might have to erase a little bit of shadows, but I feel like with the eBay app, you have to do a whole lot more work. I feel like it's not capturing exactly what you want right away. So yes, you might have a couple extra things you have to do. You might have to crop a little bit or this or that, but I feel like it's gonna give you the best picture by using the Photo Room app and know this is not a paid advertisement it's just a helpful advertisement so what are your thoughts have you used either of these make sure you leave some comments below also make sure you remember to like the video subscribe share click the link to remember how to get all these videos in the future um, until next time guys hopefully you found this helpful happy thrifting